Hello everyone. Welcome to the .NET office. In this video, we will discuss about like how we write the unit test case for the interpolation. So in the previous videos where we have discussed about everything or the spy on like how we do spy on over the private method and the private variable. So everything we have discussed. So before proceeding with this video, I recommend please watch part 21 and 22 of this tutorial series. So let's understand first what is the interpolation. So while when we start developing an uh, angular application, we mostly use the interpolation. So interpolation is basically a technique where we bind the component uh, like a um, like variable uh, in the uh, like uh, in HTML side using the curly braces. So that we have seen uh, like when we develop the angular application and it's a one way data binding and the return type of the uh, interpolation is always a, a string. So let's see how we use the interpolation and how we create the unit test case for the interpolation. So let's go to the Visual Studio and here what I have done, I have taken two these three uh, variables. One is the name number one and number two and here we can see like so it contain like uh, I have assigned the name as a the .NET office number one and uh, like some values I have assigned here. Now in the HTML side what I have done so in here I did like uh, so I have taken one header and I have assigned this name and I have assigned the ID as a name and Anna is the, is the input variable and that is like uh, I have assigned ID as a use num and the type is the number and placeholder I have given. So now we will check how we write the unit test case for this interpolation. So we know like interpolation is a one way data binding and we use it using these curly braces. So let's go to the like spec file and here what I am going to do, I am going to write a unit test case. So for writing this one, interpolation test and inside this one what first we have to do we have to uh, read this tag like this html element so like in the previous videos also we have seen like how we have to read it so first we have to assign one variable here so i'm going to assign here and we have to define the type of this one so what i'm going to do it's a html element so this i am going to assign and now using the fixer dot debug element dot native element dot query selector and using the id so what id we have given here we have given the name so hash and then name so this is the way of getting a html element in the uh, like testing file so now next what we have to do let's check expect and what we are doing like name dot inner html dot to equal what we can check like component dot name so basically like whatever the uh, value inside this name should be equal to this name whatever we have defined the component side now let's save it and let's run the ng test command so now we can see after running the command we can see there is a one test case is passing and if you will go on the browser we can see our test case is passing as expected now what if i will make the changes so what i will do like component dot name and I'm assigning like name updated. So I have assigned this like I have renamed this name property. Now like to identify those changes into the HTML side. So like as we discussed in the previous video what we have to use we have to use the detect changes. So like uh, to reflect the changes in the DOM element we use the detect changes method in the angular unit test case set so that i have written now what we can do we can expect 
now name dot inner html dot to e equal and here what we can check component dot name so at point of this time if i will run it again it will be pass and the value at point of this time will be the name updated and if i will go on the browser so we will see like our test case is passing so and we can see here the name is updated as a name updated so this is the way we can uh, like check the unit test case for the interpolation now next thing is like here we can see like if i will go so we have taken a one like uh, one input uh, type parameter now these all are the value we have given here what if i will create a property of this type so what i am going to do i am going to write it as a type equal to number and place holder equal to give number now these things i can replace here also so what if i give here as a type so here it should be inside the double quotes and inside this one i can give this way and here what we have given place holder so this is the way we can uh, like write it also like using the interpolation we are defining the type of the input so now if i will write a test case for this input parameter so let's write it it and the name i am given like interpolation test for text box and inside this one for writing this one first what we have to do we have to like get that particular like the text box which we are having so for that one what we have to do we have to like uh, using the debug element we have to take it so let's first create the variable and that is like input well equal to and first we have to define the type and what is that type so that is html input element now we have to define the so using pixel dot debug element dot native element dot query selector and inside this one what we have to do we have to give the id which we have given here so let's copy it and paste it here now next what we can expect so from here what we can expect so we can expect like so what here we have given input well dot type so now this type dot equal to we can check with component dot type so let's save it at point of this time what will be the value we will see so now here it should be two success test case should be there and we can see the output if we will go on the browser we can see like give number so this is the placeholder we have given and from here we, we are increasing the number now what if i change the type so let's write component dot type equal to what if i will give the text instead of the number so currently like we are seeing here it is a number now i am changing it to the text after that what i do i make it as a picture dot detect changes now same i will check here and if i will save at point of this time so at point of this time what should be happen there should be two test case pass and if i will go it should be number and we can see now it is a number and we didn't change the placeholder that's why it is giving the same 
so this is the way we write the unit test case for the interpolation like first we have to get that particular element like whatever the dom element we are having either it's a normal header or if we have a input element so first using the id we have to get it and then as per our requirement we can expect that so this is the way of writing a unit test case for the interpolation so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you